We often think of heart attacks as sudden, dramatic events. But the truth is, the stage for heart disease is often set long before the first symptom appears. And one of the most significant contributors to this silent killer is stress. While genetics and lifestyle choices play a role, stress stands out as a powerful, often overlooked factor that can tip the scales towards heart disease. This essay will delve into the hidden dangers of stress and its impact on our heart health. We'll explore how stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol can damage our cardiovascular system over time. We'll also discuss the different types of stress from the short-lived bursts of acute stress to the insidious grip of chronic stress. By understanding the mechanisms by which stress impacts our bodies, we can begin to take proactive steps to mitigate its harmful effects and protect our most vital organ. Stress, we all experience it, but what exactly is it? Simply put, stress is the body's response to any demand placed upon it. These demands, known as stressors, can be physical, such as an injury or strenuous activity. They can also be mental or emotional, stemming from work pressures, relationship issues or financial worries. What's fascinating is that our bodies often react similarly to real and imagined threats. The nervous system doesn't always distinguish between a physical threat, like a charging bear, and a perceived threat, like an impending deadline. This means that even the thought of a stressful event can trigger a cascade of physiological changes in the body. Not all stress is created equal. We can broadly categorize stress into two types, acute and chronic. Acute stress is the body's immediate short-term response to a perceived threat or challenge. Imagine encountering a snarling dog on your walk, your heart races, your breath quickens, and your body floods with adrenaline. This is acute stress designed to help you cope with immediate danger. Chronic stress, on the other hand, is the body's response to ongoing relentless stresses. Imagine facing that snarling dog every day on your walk and your body remains in a heightened state of alert with stress hormones like cortisol constantly coursing through your system. Over time, this chronic exposure to stress hormones can have detrimental effects on your health, particularly your cardiovascular system. When we perceive a threat, our brains sound the alarm, triggering a rapid fire chain reaction in the body. The adrenal glands, located atop the kidneys, are stimulated to release a surge of hormones, primarily adrenaline and cortisol. Adrenaline, the fight-or-flight hormone, causes an immediate surge of energy. Your heart rate and blood pressure increase, your breathing becomes rapid, and blood flow is redirected to your muscles, preparing you to confront the threat or flee to safety. Cortisol, often called the stress hormone, plays a more sustained role in the stress response. It helps to mobilize energy stores, providing your body with fuel to cope with the stressful situation. Cortisol also dampens non-essential functions like digestion and immune response, redirecting resources to more immediate needs. A toxic cocktail, how stress hormones harm the heart. In the short term, the release of adrenaline and cortisol is a life-saving mechanism, equipping us to deal with immediate danger. However, when we experience chronic stress, these same hormones can become detrimental to our health, particularly our cardiovascular system. Prolonged exposure to high levels of adrenaline can damage blood vessels, leading to inflammation and plaque buildup in the arteries, a condition known as atherosclerosis. This buildup narrows the arteries, restricting blood flow to the heart and increasing the risk of heart attack and stroke. Cortisol, while initially helpful in mobilizing energy, can also contribute to heart problems when chronically elevated. Chronically high cortisol levels can lead to weight gain, particularly around the abdomen, which is a significant risk factor for heart disease. Cortisol also disrupts blood sugar regulation, increasing the risk of type 2 diabetes, another major contributor to cardiovascular problems. When the body turns on itself a stress and autoimmune disease, chronic stress not only weakens the body's defenses against external threats, but can also trigger the immune system to attack the body's own tissues, leading to autoimmune diseases. Autoimmune diseases occur when the immune system, designed to protect the body from foreign invaders like bacteria and viruses, mistakenly identifies the body's own cells and tissues as threats and attacks them. While the exact mechanisms linking stress to autoimmune diseases are complex and still being unraveled by scientists, research suggests that chronic stress can disrupt the balance of the immune system, making it more likely to misfire and target the body's own tissues. 
This can manifest in a wide range of autoimmune disorders, including rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, inflammatory bowel disease, and multiple sclerosis. Stress and the immune system, a recipe for illness. You're more likely to catch a cold when stressed, and there's a scientific reason for that. Chronic stress weakens our immune system, making us more susceptible to infections. Remember cortisol, the stress hormone? While it plays a vital role in the short-term stress response, chronically elevated cortisol levels suppress the immune system. Cortisol reduces the production of white blood cells, the body's frontline defenders against infection. This makes it harder for our bodies to fight off invading bacteria and viruses, leaving us vulnerable to colds, flu and other infections. Moreover, chronic stress can impair the effectiveness of vaccines. Studies have shown that people under chronic stress may not mount a robust immune response to vaccines, making them less protected from the diseases the vaccines are designed to prevent. Not all stress is bad. While we've focused on the detrimental effects of stress, it's important to remember that not all stress is bad. In fact, our bodies are designed to handle a certain amount of stress. Short-term manageable stress, often called good stress or eustress, can be beneficial, motivating us to perform better, learn new skills and grow from challenging experiences. Think about the feeling you get before a big presentation or competition. A healthy dose of nervousness can sharpen your focus and enhance your performance. Certain activities, while physically demanding, can actually help to build resilience to stress. High-intensity interval training, or high heat for example, involves short bursts of intense exercise alternated with periods of rest or low-intensity activity. This type of exercise has been shown to improve the body's ability to regulate stress hormones and enhance mood. Engaging in enjoyable hobbies such as painting, gardening or playing music can also be a powerful way to de-stress and promote relaxation. Finding your Zen breathing techniques for stress reduction. One of the simplest yet most effective ways to combat stress is through conscious breathing. When we're stressed, our breathing tends to become shallow and rapid, further fueling the stress response. By slowing down and deepening our breath, we can activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is responsible for the rest and digest response, counteracting the stress response. There are various breathing techniques that can help to alleviate stress. One simple technique is diaphragmatic breathing, also known as belly breathing. To practice diaphragmatic breathing, find a comfortable seated or lying down position. Place one hand on your chest and the other on your abdomen. Inhale slowly and deeply through your nose, allowing your abdomen to expand like a balloon. Exhale slowly through your mouth, gently contracting your abdomen. Repeat this for several minutes, focusing on the rise and fall of your abdomen. Natural allies, adaptogens, vitamins and acupressure for stress management. In addition to lifestyle modifications, there are several natural remedies that can help to support the body's stress response and promote relaxation. Adaptogens, a unique class of herbs and mushrooms, have gained popularity for their ability to help the body adapt to stress. These herbs, which include ashwagandha, rhodiola and holy basil, work by modulating the body's stress response system, helping to normalize cortisol levels and improve resilience to stress. Certain vitamins and minerals play a crucial role in supporting adrenal function and mitigating the effects of stress. B vitamins, particularly B5, also known as pantothenic acid, and B6, known as pyridoxine, are essential for adrenal hormone production. Vitamin C, a powerful antioxidant, helps to protect the adrenal glands from oxidative damage caused by stress. Magnesium, often referred to as the relaxation mineral, plays a vital role in muscle function and nerve transmission and can help to reduce stress and improve sleep quality. Taking control of your health stress management for a healthy heart. The link between stress and heart health is undeniable. Chronic stress through its impact on hormone levels, blood vessel health and the immune system significantly increases the risk of developing cardiovascular disease. But the good news is that we have the power to manage stress and protect our heart health. By understanding the mechanisms by which stress impacts our bodies, we can make informed choices to mitigate its harmful effects. Incorporating stress-reducing practices into our daily lives, such as regular exercise, mindfulness meditation, and deep breathing techniques can help to regulate our stress response and promote overall well-being. 
Prioritizing sleep, nurturing social connections and engaging in enjoyable hobbies are also essential for stress management and heart health. By making conscious efforts to manage stress, we can take proactive steps to protect our hearts and live longer, healthier lives.